welcome guys welcome back guys in this video i will be speaking about how we can uh, use various tools for increasing the online studying efficiency as you know due to covid pandemic it is a huge time uh, since last two years we all are learning in online mode so it is very important to optimizely using the resources to get the maximum out of um, online learning uh, everyone is using online platforms such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Skype for online meetings. So here are the tools uh, which I found very useful while uh, completing my CDEC course, uh, which was completely online. Uh, first is desk pin. Uh, secondly, I will be speaking about uh, making the command prompt transparent so that we can code uh, as the screen is on. And uh, Moreover, we I'll be sp speaking about the um, how to make the code editors transparent. Uh, I'll be speaking about the uh, CMDR and command prompt, and <coughs> I will be also speaking about the fl floating stop what you can see here and uh, presentation assistance for the drawing on the screen. This is the presentation assistance you can draw on the screen as well so you can draw it here how you can draw so let's get started first of all i will uh, start with the desk pins desk pin is a very useful uh, software it is a uh, freely available on the net you can uh, pin any of the like uh, i opened one notepad or you can open anyway anything and when we open another app it, this uh, app will go back like if i open uh, this one if i open visual studio, studio code see this gets hidden hidden if I remove this pin, you can see how this will be behaving. I have put the pin, that's why. Ah. See, uh, everything goes away. So it is very irritating while uh, we are studying online mode. So you can just keep this uh, everything on the top. You just need to go click on this and then pin it. This will not be going away. You can uh, do your work here or coding part there. This will be staying on the top. You can imagine uh, this VS code as a meeting uh, desktop on the Zoom or uh, you can say Microsoft Teams. This is the floating stopwatch. You can use it for the calculation of time and all. I'll show you. This is the floating stopwatch. If we keep the option to it always on top, it will always be on the top. Whatever you click, it will be not going behind. It will be on top. So while meeting is going on, you can start the timer, reset, lab, stop for practicing the questions with the teachers more other uh, useful uh, uh, software i found is the making this uh, uh, vs code as well as transparent you can just uh, install this uh, extension glassit uh, glassit vs cs and you can make the vs code as well transparent i'll show you how it looks when it is transparent see you can see what is going uh, behind the screen as well you can decrease the transparency and you can code while the meeting is going on i will just reset it so i will uh, now speak about the presentation assistance this is the presentation assistance you can get a clock over here see here it is a clock 
many a times on the, in the meeting there is no clock available so you can put this clock there but majorly i have used this uh, presentation assistance tool for the drawing on the screen you can draw on the screen in this way you can draw the various shapes you can underline on the screen there are very various other options you can do with this on the screen this is very useful while taking the screenshots you can just highlight it and take the screenshot you can write on the screen you can number the various steps on the diagram this is first a this is b you can number various steps so for an example this is the but i'll clear the screen you can just number the processes this is the first process this is the second this is the third process this is fourth just by clicking it moreover as we require the command prompt very much while coding so we can make the coding command prompt as well transparent just uh, right click you can make this command prompt as well transparent just uh, right click on it go to properties and you can adjust its transparency it is very highly useful tool when you are going online now you can see what is behind the screen as well and you can command and you can type the commands on it another most useful tool i found was this cmdr cmdr also is working in the same way you can use it as an alternative to command prompt to give the commands in the linux moreover you can keep this uh, uh, snipping tool handy so that whenever class is going on you can just take a snapshot and save it thank you very much